The UK's four children's commissioners asked children and young people whether they think they are getting all their rights. These are just some of the answers that we are sharing with the United Nations Committee on the Rights of the Child. I may be a child, I may be small, but I know that I have a voice and my voice matters. I've been struggling in school this year because of my learning difficulties and cannot learn at home without my specialist provision. I think I will need to redo this year. I know it's completely irrelevant because it's a lockdown and we need to keep people safe. But at the same time, it's a bit like, I don't know. I feel like a bit of a dog in a cage to be fair. After the COVID-19 crisis comes to an end, Will you take the views of young people more seriously after the sacrifices and contributions we have made throughout it? It was scary because people spoke about it in front of me but didn't explain it to me. I was worried about my family. I can't afford to pay for clubs, so I wish there were some free ones. When you're poor, you give up on your dreams. We need immediate action to ensure that every child has access to a safe home, to enough food, to warm, suitable clothing. These are not obscene demands. These are the most basic of rights. Poor people like me are not treated as good because we can't, can't go to loads of places. The one thing I would change is the stigma and stereotype that the company's getting help for mental health. That you need to be a loner or self-harming or have an awful life experience for it to be considered normal or acceptable to get help with mental health. If cams had been there back then, none of us would be here. Children and young people should always be informed of their mental health care rates.